social justice statement for this year was on the theme of uh, refugees and asylum seekers because I think we're all very deeply conscious of the uh, grave situation of so many millions of people, particularly those from Syria and the, and the Middle East. So it's very appropriate that the bishops have this statement to remind the Catholic people of, of this situation and also to give encouragement for people to, uh, to look at the ways that they can respond to this need. I'm very conscious that uh, Pope Francis has urged Catholic parishes and institutions to open themselves to receive the refugees. It's obviously in Europe, but we'll have the opportunity here in Tasmania as the government, the local government here, has decided to increase the quota of refugees coming to Tasmania. So we'll have the opportunity and hopefully we'll be able to provide a warm welcome and a much practical support for refugees, uh, particularly those from Syria and the Middle East, when they arrive in the, in the coming months. My hopes for the justice statement on asylum seekers and uh, refugees will be that members of the Catholic community in Australia would reflect and act really on the, on the statements that are made by the bishops. The bishops um, unequivocally condemn current practice and policies on asylum seekers by the Australian nation. Um, they are pleading with us to take action, be compassionate, to respect human dignity, all the classic things in Catholic social justice teaching. So I'd hope there'd be some sort of shift in, um, in the way we treat people who are seeking protection, particularly the way we treat those who are in detention on Manus Island and Nauru, and particularly the children who continue to be in detention. The Catholic Commission for Justice and Peace in Tasmania has had more than one uh, long reflection on issues to do with asylum seekers and refugees. I hope this fine tradition continues, but I also hope that there's a shift in opinion where we can be a more compassionate nation rather than uh, a nation of indifference, as Pope Francis says.